All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to import your Google AdWords campaigns into Bing Ads. Um, so I have my AdWords screen open here, and I have my Bing Ads account open here as well. Um, so you're going to need both of these accounts open in order to do this. You're obviously, if you don't have a Bing Ads account yet, just create a quick Ads account. It's pretty quick. Uh, you just have to upload your billing and then just put in all your information. So, um, so what AdWords and Bing Ads are actually extremely similar almost down to everything is is exactly the same there's a couple slight differences but they've made it easy so that uh, we're gonna take this campaign here search PPC agency pretty basic campaign we're not actually using it or running it but there's a couple ad groups in here uh, if we click on the ad groups you could see there's some keywords uh, you could see we have some ads in here as well uh, we actually have some extensions too so some site link extensions I think there's some call out extensions on it um, so what we're going to do is take this campaign, search PPC agency, and we want to put it into Bing Ads. So um, the best practice to do it is if you're doing it one time, you just want to come into import campaigns and do it for one time. We're going to show you how to do, you know, whether you want to just import it once and then manage it directly in Bing Ads, or if you want to keep an auto import that so that it keeps uploading into Bing Ads as you make changes in AdWords. So for example, if we take this PPC agency and we end up adding, you know, 10 new ad groups to it and 100 new keywords and, you know, 10, 15, 20 new ads, however much, however many we, we're adding to it. Let's just say we build out the campaign and we, it, it quadruples in size in terms of what we're targeting. Rather than going to Bing Ads and doing the same exact thing there, you can just import it right from AdWords again and just upload it. So and override what you had there before. So if we have search PPC agency with two ad groups and we upload the new version, then it would have our entire new campaign built out all the way in Bing ads uh, without us having to do anything besides just import it. So what we're gonna do in Bing ads is come over here at the top and you can see import campaigns. And we're gonna click on import from Google AdWords. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is sign into Google. So we've already signed in here. Um, so once you just click sign in, you just sign in with your Google account pretty quick and easy. Um, so what we're going to do is just click on continue and then select our AdWords account. Okay, so now we're down here and it's going to say choose AdWords campaign. So we can import all of our existing and new campaigns into Bing ads or we could just import specific campaigns. Um, the key thing to remember is that you're not going to be able to import your display and video campaigns into Bing Ads because they don't have uh, a display and video network the same way AdWords does. So um, just focus on your search campaigns when you're importing your campaigns. Uh, so what we're going to do is click on import specific campaigns. Um, if your campaigns pause, you're going to have to click uh, show pause campaigns here. But we're going to click search PPC agency and continue. So now it's going to say choose what to import. So Personally, I just leave this all exactly the same. Um, but basically what it's showing here is if you have a tracking template or account level URLs, you can import that. We don't. Um, but what we're going to do is import new items. So it's basically campaigns, ad groups, keywords, auto targets, negative keywords, um, basically everything that you're targeting, all the ads you've created, ad extensions. If you're using tracking templates, you can um, add those as well and import them. Um, so there's a couple different things you could do here. So you can delete items that have been removed from your Google AdWords account. Um, so that's just things in Bing ads. So bids and budgets. So you can you have to keep these selected. Um, and then I just keep all of these unselected. If you're using e-commerce, um, so you could associate your Bing Merchant Center store with your shopping campaign. So if you're running a shopping campaign in Google, and you have your Google Merchant Center, you can actually import your shopping campaign into Bing. You just have to have your Bing Merchant Center set up and you want it in you want to associate that merchant center with your shopping campaign from Google, um, obviously, as you're importing it into Bing. So what we're going to do now is click on continue. Um, so there's two different options here. So if we click now, it's going to actually just import right now one time and it's done. Um, if we click daily, what we can set up a time where every single day it's going to import once per day um, and it's going to override what we've had there before. So if we make changes in AdWords, we can keep it in Bing Ads. So what I'm going to do is just show you what daily looks like. So if we go daily at, let's say, so 12 hour, it's going to go twice per day. We're going to go 24 hour. Oh, no, that's just the way they show the time up here, I guess. Um, so at 12 hour, what we're going to do is, let's say at 6 a.m. every day, we want to import our campaign. Um, Eastern time, so import name, you know, Google. so email, so you can email yourself too. Um, every time it runs, that's what I would do. Every time the import runs, it'll email the uh, email that you have on your account. Uh, what we're going to do is just click on now. Uh, so if you do once, you can schedule, and then the weekly and monthly is the same thing. You're just setting up different intervals. Uh, so we're going to do now and click on import. Okay, so it loaded. It takes you know a couple minutes, depending on how big your campaign is. 
Um, so the first thing you really want to look at is just to make sure everything um, updated fine. So they're going to have some deleted and skipped here. Uh, so you just want to see if there's any issues there. So for us, it looks like everything's fine here. Um, so what we're going to do is click on view imported campaigns. So we can show you basically how everything imports the same exact way into Bing ads as it look in, looks in AdWords. So here's a new campaign here, search PPC agency, same budget here. Uh, it's going to be all the same targeting type. So if we click on the campaign, um, so we still have the same two ad groups. If we click on one of the ad groups, we can see the keywords are exactly the same. If we click on the ads, we can see the ads are exactly the same. So pretty simple. Um, now, if we have our auto scheduling import set up, what it's going to do is keep updating this. So if we add new ads, different things like that. So that's why you want to do that. Um, so now let's just say rather than importing it directly from Google, I want to show you how to import from a file, but also using Bing ads editor. So um, this is just another way that you're able to do it a little bit easier using Google AdWords editor and Bing ads editor. So um, we have Google AdWords editor open here. So it's a software, if you're not familiar with it, where you can manage all your AdWords campaigns, make things a lot easier. We have a tutorial on our YouTube channel if you want to look into it a little bit further. Um, I'd highly recommend learning Google AdWords editor if you don't already. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to search PPC agency. So same campaign we just imported into Bing. And what we can do is come up to account here and click on export and then export selected campaigns and ad groups. So now instead of exporting our whole account, we're just going to click on the one campaign we want to export. We're going to click OK. And then it's just going to say save as, you know, we'll just keep it the same way as it looks. And then where into our documents thing, we'll just click save. So that's it. Now it's open or it's uh, exported. Uh, so we click on close. So now there's two options we have. So if we come in back into Bing ads right on the website, we can come into import campaigns and click on import from file and you would just upload the file right there. What I want to show you is how to do it in uh, Bing ads editor. So uh, what you want to do is we have our export file from Google AdWords editor. So we want to come to import here and click on import from a file. Again, you can import from Google just like we did in the last step, but also this is Bing ads editor. So it's just a little, you just sign in through the software. So we're going to click on import from a file. Okay, so now we have our campaign uh, set up here and, and kind of halfway imported. And it's going to say, look at all these different fields here. So what you can do is just scroll alongside and see if you see any errors. Um, everything should look pretty much the same. If, if anything's not set up, it just will be kind of empty or, you know. So everything looks good here. I'm not going to go through each individual thing. We're going to click on next here. Okay, so next is going to ask you to select your import option. So if you want to change your location targeting, if you want to change language, if you want to change time zones, you can. Um, but this is just our um, default settings for our Bing ads. Um, so we're going to click on next. It's now just going to process the uh, process the new campaign real quick and import it into Bing ads. Okay, so now it's saying import completed. 19 items imported successfully. Two items were skipped due to errors. So if we just scroll down real quick, we can see... So they skipped two of our site link extensions. That's fine. It just might not have been compatible with the way we had them set up into Bing Ads. Um, so that's fine. Uh, so we just click on close. So everything's here. Uh, so now we have the same budget, same everything. You can see the same two ad groups that we had in the other one. Um, we've got keywords and targeting. OK, so we can see we have the same exact keywords. So now all we would have to do is click on Post Changes from Bing Ads Editor, and it's going to post it right into Bing Ads. But this is exactly how you import campaigns um, into Bing Ads using Google AdWords, using Bing Ads Editor. Uh, so just a couple different options that you have. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you leave them in the comments. We appreciate you guys joining us for our video today. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already.